So I'm doing a quick review today on the May 2013 Lip Factory um, subscription box and the theme is the wedding season. A nice picture of this very large nosed woman in makeup. I'm sorry, I just it's a terrible angle. This woman's gorgeous, but that angle is terrible. Just saying. Okay, I'm over it. Anyway, so this is the, the May box and if you don't know what Lip Factory is, you should because it's a fantastic uh, subscription that delivers mainly lipstick and lip product based um, cosmetics to your house every month for I believe it's $22 and you get a lot of drugstore brands but you also get to discover new brands and sometimes higher end brands so it's kind of win-win all around and these are the products that were included this month and I'll run through them and I already have swatches on my hands so the first one is the NYX Color Lip Balm which is this product right here it is a sheer lip balm that has just a hint of color. I was hoping it would be something like the Revlon Lip Butters, but or the Color Whisper, where it had just a little bit more color, but it really was just a sheer product. It's right here. It's this where you see the sheen where it looks like I have oil in my hand. That's it. It's extremely, extremely sheer. You won't even have a wash of color. So calling it a color lip balm I think is a little bit misleading because you don't really get a color at all. Then the next one is the NYX Round Lip Gloss, which is this shimmery lip gloss right here. I kind of love it. Honestly, I do. As soon as I saw how shimmery it was in the packaging, I was like, I'm going to love this. Oh, and by the way, the shade I got for the, the, um, the NYX one is Arigato, and the color I got for NYX, the NYX gloss is Sparkle, 05 Sparkle. And that does have like a doe foot applicator, doe foot type applicator. Very nice, very shimmery, great for spring, summer. Um, the next product we have on the list is Studio 277 Cosmetics Lip Gloss, and they're introducing that product this month, so it's new. And it's this nude lip gloss, and I really like the way the tube is designed because it's got like an internal design that makes it, because it's very round on the outside. The inside makes it look like it's got pleats. Now, um, the label is just a sticker, which kind of feels cheap to me, but then once I applied it, I realized it's it's pretty good. And the name of this one is Almost Nude Lip Gloss, and it's right here. And it's definitely got a milky feeling to it, but it's pretty on par with the MAC cream sheets, or, or not cream sheets, wrong word, the, um, the lip glasses that are milky. It reminds me of those. So it's pretty on par with this, and this would probably go great over colors like Myth or, or what have you, but I wouldn't wear it alone because it does seep into the crevices of the lip and makes those little white lines that are very unflattering. So wear something underneath it, even if it's just like a colored lip balm, like the one I just showed you. Just something to keep prevent it from sipping and seeping into those lines. And um, I haven't tested it long enough to see if it bleeds, but I'll have that information on my blog as well. Um, the next one is Studio 277 Cosmetics Eye Light Pigments. This is kryptonite right here. It does reflect gold. It's a green that reflects gold. You can get a nice, decent sized pot. It is a really pretty color. Nice green, very high performing, very pigmented. Um, you can use this as a liner if you dip it in a mixing medium. I believe Prep and Prime from MAC is a mixing medium. And you can use it as a liner, you can use it as an eyeshadow, you can put it in clear nail polish and have a nail polish. There are so many uses for this pigment that I'm about to go crazy with it. Like, it's that good. So you can match your eyes to your nails and what, what have you. Um, the next one is Bombshell Cosmetics Blush. And I got Glowing Goddess, which is this beautiful peachy apricot color. And my camera's washing it out, but oh my goodness, is it pretty. I can't even handle how pretty it is. I just dipped my finger in it, but I also have it here. It's very, it just gives like a hint of color. It's quite lovely, honestly. Even on my skin tone, you see the hint of color that it gives. On the cheeks, it's very, um, I don't have enough on my hand to actually swatch it on my cheek. But it does give like a nice peachy glow. It's quite pretty. I can't say that enough. Um... There's two more items. The last one is the Kaui Kaui Nut Mineral Scrub. Nut Mineral Scrub. I'm still not sure what this does because I still haven't really like looked into it, but as soon as I do, 
Oh, you apply it and you massage over your skin using light pressure, and you just pretty much exfoliate your skin. I don't think this package has enough for me to really exfoliate anything, but, um, you know, all the other items make up for it. And last but not least, we have this sponge, this sponge blender brush. So if you're a big fan of, like, the, the blending, um, little sponges, this is really good for more precise application. It pretty much just is a giant, um sponge applicator except for it's very soft it's almost got like a velvety feel to it it's not actually like like you would think a cheap sponge would look like I was impressed with it's decent I mean it's not the most amazing uh, tool I've ever seen but it's pretty decent overall I think we got a lot of products this month that really made um, this box worth it all this for 22 is pretty good it's like a drugstore haul that you didn't even have to do yourself when you have delivered to your home and you don't know if you get it at home, you're like, oh, I get to try new products that I may or may not have tried. So, um, I would recommend it, and I'll, pro I'll have a referral, my referral number in the um, information section below, just in case you want to sign up and get me some referral points. Um, I haven't been disappointed so far, and I've been subscribed for a few months, and I don't think you will either. And pretty much everybody I have so told, you know, you need to get this subscription, I don't think they've been too um, disappointed either. I mean, not everybody's pleased by every month or every product. But overall, I've pretty much heard nothing but good things from the people who have tried it after seeing it. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you found my swatches and my review useful. And um, you can check out my blog, thecosmoholic.blogspot.com, or you can find me on Instagram, Recycled Stardust. Thank you so much for watching.